Welcome to the Small Business Web Designs tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a logo on a transparent background. This is a common problem when uh, users try to upload a logo and I'm going to show you how this problem looks. So I'm going to upload this logo here. And you'll see this is actually on a white background. So when this comes up, it kind of clashes with the black template that we've got here. So I'll say that down. You can see how that looks. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, ideally what we want is a transparent background. So I'm going to show you a little trick as to how we do that. I use a website, an online editor called Pixlr. So it's pixlr.com. I'm going to scroll down here and go into the Pixlr editor. I'm going to open an image from my computer and I'm going to grab my logo. So the first step here is to go up into the layer menu. I'm going to create a new transparent layer and I'm going to drag that underneath the logo. Okay, actually I need to unlock this background first. There we go. Now I've got the logo uh, as the layer zero and then I've got this transparent background as the next layer and the important thing is to make sure they've both got ticks next to them so they're unlocked for editing. Next step here is to select this magic wand tool and then click within the white sections that you want to uh, get rid of so you want to make transparent. So what, what happens there is highlighting all the white sections and then I'm going to hit delete on that and that has now turned that part of the logo transparent. So what was white is now transparent. I'm going to do the same on the inside there. I've selected that with the magic wand. I'm going to hit delete. So now you can see I've turned this into a transparent logo background. The next step in this is to actually save the file. And I'm going to save this as a PNG file. That ensures that it's going to save down in the correct format. So now that that's saved down, I'm going to go back up into my Ubly editor. I'm going to add this new logo that's on the PNG background, which is transparent. And you'll see that comes up much more nicely. So I'm going to do delete the old logo, we've got the new transparent one, I'm going to save that down, and there we have it, we've got a logo on a transparent background. Thanks for listening.